Don't you do it, you son of a bitch. Boy, that's violent. Bucks. You can suck a fat one. It's still gonna taste like piss. Hey everybody, Alabama Boss here with another episode of Craft Brew Review. Today, we are going on a European vacation. Let's hope it's good. All right, let's drink beer. And I'm gonna start off with this one that just catches my eye right off the bat. It's Steigl Hell. It's out of Austria, and it's 4.5% alcohol by volume. It is a lager. I like the can. Uh, and uh, I believe it was something about it was bottom fermented. Anybody can tell me what that means, drop it in the comments. Let's drink beer. Oh, possible. It's possible, dude. Let's see what we get. Nice color. Smells good. A lot of light beer. Uh, it, domestics. They're watered down. This one right here, you know, it's, a, it, it's, it's smooth. Don't have a bad aftertaste. It's a good beer. It's a real good beer. I think I'll have more. I mean, with the name, hell. It's really good. It's good. That's a good beer. I can drink that. I don't know the price point on it. There we go. Out of Austria, bottom fermented. Don't know what the hell that means. And this is my first time seeing it and tasting it. And I like it. It's a good beer to have in the cooler. I really don't see how it can be anything better up here. So we can stop now, but we're not. <laughs> I'm drinking them. All right, we're gonna move on to Cronenborg. Uh, it's out of France. Oh, those pussies. Anyway, Cronenborg 1664, 5% alcohol by volume. It's a wheat beer. Again, another one that I have never tasted. That's a little bit different tab here, which is interesting. That's France for you, a little different. Yeah, that's uh, a little more color to this one. I don't know how you pick a favorite. This one is a lot, it's so similar to, to the Stackle. So this is bottom fermented. This is a wheat, uh, alcohol content, yeah, about the same. Taste wise, about the same. Uh, color is really the only difference. This one seems a little lighter. There it is. God. Thank you. I got room for more. Well, a lot of people that's used to domestic beers, you've probably not ran across these. Maybe you have. But maybe I don't get out. Those are about the same. No shit. I don't know what to say. I'm kind of stomped here. Push through it. Chug a little bit. Now this one, on the other hand, it is and gun, the original Scottish golden beer. This one comes out of Scotland and it's toting 6.6% alcohol by volume. This beer is single malt whiskey cast material to unlock natural hints of vanilla, toffee, and oat. Aged 51 days, Ennis and Gun. I'm intrigued by this beer. I'm looking forward to trying it. I see the word cheese back here. Hold on a minute. It is great on its own and pairs well with full flavored foods like seared steak, rich stews, or cheese. Uh, let's see. That is a, uh, I recommend trying this beer for the, the, the beer folk. What are you into? This, this is, it's kind of, it's got a good beer taste. It's there's no aftertaste. I bet this is expensive. What does it cost? Does anybody know? That's a good beer. That's a that's a that's a kind of a must try beer in my opinion, depending on what it costs. Fifteen bucks for a six pack. That's expensive. Out of the first three here, this is definitely the most interesting. It doesn't taste bad. It's 
talking about fifteen dollars a six pack is what I'm told. It's a little expensive. That, that's a good beer. That's a. I mean, that's a. This one's different. Uh, I like this one the best. Definitely like this the best. Good job, Scotland. I can't afford to drink you, but hey. Okay, this next one here is uh, Stelia Galicia. Yeah, something, something like that. Uh, it's out of Spain. Been brewing since 1906. 5.5% alcohol by volume. We got a 11.2 fluid ounces. Interesting. Let's crack this can. Good lord. That is loud. That should probably be the best beer I've ever put in my mouth. I got high hopes. Come on, Spain. Hmm. Good smell. It's good, but it's, it's um, I don't, I don't, I, uh, I don't like the hang around. It's got the hang around. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, I, I'm not buying this beer. I don't like this aftertaste. It's uh, nah, no, no, mm mm, 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 shit. <clears throat> That's uh, I don't know. It's not, it's not good. Sorry, but you lose. Mm mm. Boom. Call it. Do you have indigestion? Drink this, some bitch. I hate the can. I just hate the can. I don't know why. Uh, it's got a little imported from Spain there like we're supposed to be proud. I don't care. Which I'm glad you told me, but uh, no. I don't like it. I don't like the can. I feel like I got ripped. It's not even 12 ounces. And it gives an aftertaste. And it's probably not cheap. So, no. Yeah. I, I, I would drink somebody else's if they offered it. I hate to even say this, but it's kind of like... A, I mean, look. Well, they got little bee hands in Spain? What the hell? This thing, ah, uh, no. Spain. Okay, let's move on. This one right here, I've been looking forward to this. It's out of Belgium. You know, I don't know exactly how to say that. Trippist, uh, Rochefort. It's a Belgium ale that is apparently brewed by monks, which is just interesting in itself. The alcohol content here sits at 11.3%. And I'm told that you can cellar this beer the way I understand it. You can age this beer for like five years. It's like malt, can they, I mean, is that good? Is that okay? Can they brew beer? I mean, I know I've heard about the meth monks, but I mean, these might be legit monks. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of this damn thing. Out of Belgium, brewed by some monks. And if you don't want to drink it, put it in the cellar for five years. Well, them monks f***ed that up. Oh boy, when you get up there at 11.2% alcohol by volume, I kind of get it, but still, that's sort of uh, a wine. I don't like it, no, and I'm not talking much because I'm about to burp. Ugh, you stupid monks. Well, that tastes like shit. It's not like rancid or anything. It's just, you're supposed to be refreshing. It's, it, at least a little, that right there ain't. <laughs> it's just a, it's that damn wine taste that I get from these. This, I, there it is. Hell, you don't need about two of these bitches and you will be good to go. Mm -mm. I think the monks need to stick to being monks. 53 to 57 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have time to investigate these f***ers. I'm just drinking them. But I appreciate that I've got a beer from a monk. But do I really think there's a monk brewing these beer? Nah. In all honesty, you can take some, some old shit beer put some real good story with it, jack the price up, and there's gonna be some idiots buy it. 
It's still gonna taste like piss. F this beer and f them monks. I was gonna stop cussing. Not stop, but just slow down or ease up. But thanks, monks. Now I don't believe anything. I feel like I'm being ripped off. Their stories do not matter anymore. This comes straight out of a well that's 85 feet underground. Well, yeah, well f how deep do you think most wells are? I hope the guy well's not two feet deep. Stories that they put on the label. Why the, why the, mm. Mm, boy, y'all getting ripped. I don't know what these cost. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it's the experience. Oh, f the experience is beer. Is it good or is it not good? I don't need a, a damn poem, a story, a documentary about, like, it's got this picture of this guy, looks like he's f melting metal back here, but apparently he's making beer. Samuel Smith, the famous Taddy Porter. Now, this one right here comes out of England, and it has a nice little nighttime reading for you there on the back if you so desire and they also decided to wrap fucker in full so they could charge you an extra dollar God. Mm. she's dark oh porters are dark <laughs> good aroma yeah I don't know how much of what I just said they're gonna put in the video, but I sort of regret saying it. That's a good beer. I'm sorry, Samuel Smith. <laughs> to be a dark porter like that, not really my style, but this is, uh, I can get down with this. In the full, I mean, everything pointed in the direction of me going, mm-mm. And it all started with the Monk beer and went south from there, but Man, that's dark. You know, it's, yeah. it's good. I, I like that. I could or I would like to have that with a blue rare steak and a house salad at a restaurant that's about to charge me an arm and a leg and I don't give two f's because I only do it once every three years. Now, to the almost impossible part, what beer would I buy? Okay, the only, the only way I know how to put any kind of rank on this would be which beer would I buy? These are good beer. These are lighter beer. They're lagers, but they're, you know, anyway. Not gonna buy this beer. Sure as hell ain't buying the Monk beer. I'm gonna buy one just for beers this. And if I go to a restaurant that has the famous Taddy Porter, I will order it. And that is how we lay. So, in conclusion, as a European vacation goes, um, had a nice time here in, I don't remember, England. Good job, Scotland. Nice time, I would return. Belgium, you can suck a fat one, I'm not coming back. Well, there you have it. Craft Brew Review European Vacation. As usual, we had a couple duds, but it's always a winner. I'm Alabama Boss with Rated Red. Have a good one.